Hi, my name is Hattie. Welcome or welcome back to the One Kid Couple channel. In today's video, we are gonna be looking at backpacks. Specifically, I've got six from Amazon, all under $100. And these are all the backpacks that I considered purchasing for our upcoming trip to Universal Orlando and Disney World. Now, all of the backpacks had to have the following criteria. They all had to be under $100. They had to have water bottle pockets on the outside, a luggage strap. The interiors of the backpacks had to be a light color because as my eyes are getting older, it's harder to see what's inside the bag, especially at night. It had to have a pretty decent amount of internal organization. And for the most part, I wanted a neutral color or a black color because I wanted to make sure that the backpack would match with any outfit that I might put on. With that being said, let's get to the backpacks. They're coming right up. The first backpack that we have here is called, um, is a Cots backpack. I was initially drawn to the the shape of it or the style of it. But the reason I decided not to pick it, and I can tell you that I axed it like right away, was that when I opened up the interior, like the Amazon pictures didn't didn't show the interior of the bag, but it's black. I mean, like I can't, I'm not gonna be able to see anything. Are you kidding me? I liked the material. It's supposed to be like a weather resistant material. It's a pretty good size. It's actually one of the bigger ones of the the bunch that I got. Like I had mentioned, it has the water bottle pockets on the outside. It's got padded strap. It's got the luggage strap here. I kind of liked it because it kind of opens up like a bucket, you know? It can't really stand on its own. Maybe if I had stuff, because the interior is black, I had to give it the ax. And also another reason, there really weren't any security features on it whatsoever. So that was another reason why I decided to pass on this one. The next backpack we have in the lineup is by Travelon. This backpack is very well made. The zippers feel more heavy duty than all the other backpacks that I looked at. The material, it's like a heavy duty kind of canvas. So this one is called the Travelon Anti-Theft Courier Slim Backpack. The color is stone gray. If this backpack had come in black or navy blue or normal gray, I would have kept it. The color for me was just not what I was looking for. I was hoping that when I got it, it would look different from the picture and it didn't. But this bag still has some really good redeeming qualities. It has three pockets, but two of the three are lockable. So this one guy down here locks. Honestly, I still wouldn't put anything valuable. I would have put my passport in this one. The inside is a nice light color. It's got a little bit of organization here on the front. And again, this, these zippers feel really sturdy. And then that little, that locks there. This one here is just a regular pocket. And then the main pocket. So these two zippers here can clip together and then clip apart and then you open it up. It's got some internal organization. Um, the interior lining is nice and light. Let me see, this pocket here is also RFID protected. So your credit cards and passport, you can put it in there and not worry that somebody will scan it and get your information. I will say though that since this, this is the slimmest, smallest backpack of the bunch, the padding where, the, where your laptop would go is probably the least, it's the least padded laptop pocket of all of them. Like I had mentioned, if it had come in a, a just a plain black or navy blue or not this color, I would have kept it. So, and I think it's worth it just for the security features that are on it. So just think about that when you're looking at backpacks. Moving on. This next backpack, man, this one had promise. I really hope that I was gonna like this one. This is a Swiss Digital. Katie Rose backpack. The shape of it is a little funny. It's almost like a square on your back, but I don't know, hopefully the material, you can see it. It's very well made. The zipper is rose gold. All the zippers are rose gold. And it's got one, two, three, four, five zippers. It's got a nice pink interior. I really like the interior. It's got a pocket here for your sunglasses or your phone got like it's like felt lined we've got an admin pocket here look at that pink interior I love it it's got pen holders it also has a hidden uh, USB port 
So you put your, your portable battery here and then it'll link right here on the outside. And it also has an RFID pocket as well. This one was a big contender, you guys. Like I really wanted to like this one, but I'm gonna tell you why I didn't keep it. Again, we've got the really pretty pink interior with a little bit more organization on this third pocket. No, that was one, two, three, fourth pocket. Last but not least, we've got the laptop pocket. It's got one side for your laptop, very well padded, one side for a tablet, lovely pink color. This side water bottle has a little bit of um, stretch to it. This side, because you, because the USB port is over here, stick your phone in and then kind of zip it up a little bit, I guess. None of the zippers on this bag lock, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's got really good padding on the straps. It's got the luggage holder. I'm gonna tell you guys why I decided not to keep this one. And, and it was, I really wanted to like this one. I really did it because it's pretty and it has all kinds of good stuff, but this is why I decided not to keep it. Just think about that, walking down Main Street, jingle jangling down the street. I just couldn't. It's too jingle jangly, you guys. Like, I can't do it. It's too loud. Oh, maybe it's, maybe they have too many, too many zippers. Three of the five pockets have double zippers, which maybe that wasn't necessary. Or maybe it's because these zippers are gigantic. I don't know. They're really loud though. The, the zippers are loud and that's why I didn't want to keep this one. So, this one's going back. These three backpacks are more similar than they are different from each other. This one is a light flight. This one is a light flight. And this one is a bag smart. And let's talk about this one first. It's got four pockets. One of the four pockets is lockable. I decided not to keep this one because of the quilted kind of pattern on it. I just, I didn't think it was versatile enough. I also really, don't care for the color of this of these zippers. I mean, for the price nine, I know it's not gonna be a quality zipper, but it doesn't need to look like it's not a quality zipper. So, so like I said, four pockets on this one, they're all the same color. They're all tan. We've got this nice light color interior with a key clip on that first pocket. The second pocket is like an admin pocket. So you've got storage, pen holder, and more storage, zippered pocket here. We've got two water bottle pockets or one, one water bottle pocket and one pocket for your phone because it does have a USB charging port. Third pocket, we've got zippered mesh on one side. We've got elastic holder organization on the other side and the little USB port thingamajigger is here. And then the last one is for the laptop and this one is lockable. Again, for $36.99, this zipper is not the best quality and you can kind of feel it, but I mean, give what you pay for, okay? Um, and then this one has laptop pocket, tablet pocket, mesh pockets to put your power cords in. This is the pocket where you would put your portable battery bank in and it's got the cord for that. And then the little USB port is on the side and it kind of blends in a little bit. Last thing, padded straps, pretty good padding, and the luggage strap. So not bad at all. I just didn't like the gold or the quilted pattern. And honestly guys, sometimes you, you're not really gonna know until you see it in person and feel it and touch it and all that stuff. So I'm sorry, Amazon, but I'm gonna be making a lot of returns here in a minute. Next up. This light flight bag got a little bit more of a smooth texture to it on the outside. It's a little more classy, if you ask me, but I still don't like the color of the, the zipper. But again, the interior, it's almost exactly the same as the other one. Tan interior on that pocket, tan interior on this pocket. You know, the way they're set up is a little bit different. This bag, the laptop panel does not lock. This one's got two zippered interior pockets on this wall of the bag. Another little pocket on this, this side. It also has a pocket where you put your battery, your portable battery charger, and then you slip the cord through the little hole in the side. And then it's got the laptop holder in the back. But it only has a laptop holder, it doesn't have a tablet holder. Again, this one has pretty good padded straps. 
the back is not it's a little bit padded because it, it yeah you can feel the padding for the laptop and then this one has whoops nope that's not it little hidden pocket here on the side for wallet or passport so another pretty good option for under forty dollars if you like the look of this Last but not least, this is the bag I decided to keep. So this is the Light Flight Travel Backpack coming in at $30.19. That's as of the recording of this video. The material is just like a water repellent black kind of nylon fabric. The zippers are black and only the pulls are gold. So there's a little bit of gold accent, but not too much. It's got a tan interior. Got the key clip here. We've got a little bit of internal organization, which I really wanted. You know, I'm going to be carrying everyone's junk, so it's important to stay organized. Third pocket. Again, tan colored zippered pocket up here. Two smaller pockets down here. I would put my battery bank here and run my cord through the hole to the side through here. And then... And I already checked our camera bag, let me show you guys, can actually fit. Obviously I would take the strap off. And I don't know how much camera gear we're actually gonna bring with us, but I mean, the fact that that whole little thing can fit in here and there's still more room inside is pretty good. So that might be what we do. Not sure yet. We're too far out. Pocket number four, the laptop pocket. Zippers clipped together for a little bit of extra security. They're not the greatest zippers, but they'll do for 30 bucks. And then we've got laptop pocket, tablet pocket, pockets to hold your battery charging, your battery banks, more storage for random, like a notebook or whatever. This side, the pocket has the RFID safe pocket up here, which is great. And on the back, We've got padded, nice padded straps, padding on the back on the outside, got the luggage strap on the outside, and then we also have the hidden pocket for your passport or your wallet. So this bag is gonna be my domestic travel backpack, my personal item on a plane kind of backpack. And then, I don't know, I, I just really like it. It's a great value, I think. We'll see how it holds up. I'll, I'm gonna be testing it out at a San Antonio SeaWorld, so I'll let you guys know how that works out. But this is one I ended up keeping out of the six. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you wanna let me know what bag you use for your park bag, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this information helpful. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.